If the police find you, they will lock you up. How can you possibly think about anything else? When I look at your face, I can't think of anything else. You have to turn yourself in, Ian. I can't. I'll help you. I'll get you a lawyer. Helena, I can't. I can't go to jail. I'll suffocate. I will die. Ian, it will just be for a little while. No. What kind of life are you going to have running and hiding, huh? One day you are going to get shot down and then your father's dream is going to die with you. Is that what you really want? I'm tired. I'm tired of running. Right. If you really are innocent, your only chance to beat this is to work with the police. No! What? I saw lights. I saw lights outside. Cops. Just wait, okay? Let me just see who it is. Stay here. Stay out of sight. I, I saw lights. Who is it? Louise? Who are you? I'm Paulina Corey. This cabin belongs to my brother, Matt. Sorry to bother you, Miss Corey, but we're searching this area for an escaped felon named Ian Rain. He's about 6'2", with dark, wavy hair. Uh, he was last seen in a blue work shirt and jeans. Have you seen anyone matching that description? Mm, no, I haven't. Well, do you think I might come inside and speak with you? That won't be necessary. See, I came up here to be alone. I oh. haven't seen the man you're looking for. Oh, okay, Miss, okay. okay. But I'll leave one of my men behind in case uh, Rain decides to look for shelter here. Uh, one more thing. We'll be in the area until the man is apprehended. Thank you. I'll check back to make sure you're all right. Oh, no, please don't trouble yourself. Oh, no trouble at all. <sighs> Good night. Good night. Did you hear all of that? Every word. He's got an armed backup team out there, Ian. You've got to get yourself up. Ian, please don't go. You'll never make it. I have to. That's for luck. I go outside and call the police and distract them long enough so I can get out the back. Sorry, but you're gonna have to go. I haven't seen anyone. No one has been here. So if you'll excuse me, I'd really like some privacy now, okay? Thank you. Hey, there he is. Free, buddy, or I'll shoot. Frank, did you get him? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. There isn't anyone here. There hasn't been anyone here. So now, if you'll excuse me, Detective, I'd really like a little privacy. Hey, well, I... There he is. Please, buddy, Is it rain? Did you get him? Oh, my God, no. I knew it. You're in this with him, aren't you? I don't care how long it takes. Sweep the whole area until you find the guy. Your pal's out there somewhere, lady. He's probably dead. I don't know what you're talking about. Ian Rain. The fugitive you've been harboring here? How dare you make accusations like that? Well, you think the Corey name's gonna protect you from prosecution, huh? Well, think again, lady. You're way out of line here, buddy. No, I don't think so. You may be able to fool Ryan Harrison, but I'm a completely different animal altogether. Well, that part's certainly true. Hey, you want to search the grounds? Be my guest. Oh, we will, believe me, and we'll use you to ID the corpse, too. Now, let's have it. How are you involved with Rain? For the last time, I am not involved one way or the other well, with then, Ian Rain. Well, then why'd you holler like a banshee when my man dropped it? Because I happen to hate violence, especially when it happens on my family's property. Well, I guess deer season must be a real killer for you, huh? You know, if it's a crime to feel badly for a wounded man, then go ahead, please, arrest me. Oh, we'll be getting around to that, don't you worry. What's this? Do you have a little accident? No, I, well, yes. Don't even bother thinking of an excuse, lady, because I'm bringing you in for aiding and abetting. Now, how do you think your hotshot family's going to like them apples, huh? You know, Rain. It's not what you think. My brother Matt was up here earlier, and he cut himself. On what? A fishing hook, okay? 
Aren't you going to write this down? Why bother when I can ask him myself? Are you sure you don't want to change your story? It's not a story. It's the truth. Well... Excuse me, sir. Well, did you find him? No, not yet. Not yet. He couldn't have gotten far, though. We think he headed for the lake. You're sure you hit him? Absolutely, absolutely. I saw him fall. Well, then get a rescue team out here ASAP, and we'll, we'll drag the lake. According to our sources, the police have surrounded the lake district and believe Rain's apprehension is imminent. We'll be back with more on this after a word from our sponsors. Unless you want to hear me sing how white your whites can be, I suggest you get up now. How'd you know I was back here? I figured it was either you or a wet coyote. Either way, I wasn't going to be very happy. Well, then I'm sorry, all right? I... How badly are you hurt? I'm fine, all right? I'm what? Fine. I had the police say you'd fallen. Yeah, exactly. It's, a, it's an old trick. You know, when they shoot, you double up. While you double back. Uh-huh. <sighs> Your arm's still hurting, isn't it? <sighs> no, it's fine. All right. Take the blanket you hid under and wrap it around you. Pulling Do it, Ian, now! I'm sorry, just try to hold on to it, get you to a hospital. Hospital? What do you mean? You need antibiotics for that wound, otherwise you're gonna get really sick. Yeah, or really dead. You saw what those cops were like. They don't care how they bring me in, Paulina. They probably thought you were holding me hostage and that, that I was afraid to talk. Is that what they said? That was my impression. Until the end, at least. So what happened? They think I'm in this with you, that I'm protecting you. What? Stop the car, please. But understand something, please. okay? I am in charge now. What I say goes. Listen. Head down, sit back, and hold on. I've probably got a tail to lose, and I don't have much time. Better if I packed out than then. Uh... Have the movers do it. The key, Jake. Okay, just go. Go. Okay, come in. You okay? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I, uh... I don't know how to thank you for letting me stay here. I didn't think you'd stick your neck out for me like you have. Is somebody here? That's more than enough. Right? What I'm saying is, you have less than 12 hours to find out how to get that key from Carl. After that, you're on your own. I don't want to see you anymore. Paulina, I... Don't push me, Ian. I've had it with men who have chips on their shoulders. I don't want any of them in my life anymore. Do you got it? Well, not a bad day all around. How about you, hmm? Yours was good, too? Wonderful. What say we have a little treat? How does it feel to look into the eyes of a man you left for dead? What are you doing here? Leave. Leave here this instant. I don't leave until I've returned the favor.
glad you didn't finish me off in Canada. Well, I'm delighted to see you all in one piece. No icy cliffs, no helicopters at your beck and call. I'd say the odds are in my favor this time. My skills in the martial arts remain as keen as ever, Mr. Rain. Considering your age, I congratulate you. <laughs> now we could choose to fight or not, or simply call it a draw. I mean, why should we destroy each other when we both want the very same thing? What makes you think I want the same thing as you? Because, young man, you want to know the secret of the keys. And I may have the answer. Tell me what you know. You're in no position to threaten me, lad. Nor you me. You don't know a damn thing, do you? If you mean, do I have a definitive explanation for the mystery of the keys, the answer is no. I knew it. However, I am now fairly certain that if anyone has the solution to the problem, it must be me. Your arrogance is reassuring. Since we last met, I've had time to reflect on this situation. Now, as I understand it, your father had business dealings with Mackenzie Corey and my own father. Is that correct? My father was betrayed no, no, by please. both men. Please, bear with me. Now, all the details of this arrangement are, to the best of your knowledge, still to be found. In a safety deposit box in Central America. How do you know no, that? Three keys are required to open that box. You have two of them. And you have the third entitling me to a third share in whatever is found in the box, wouldn't you say? I mean, now, I am like you, my father's only heir. If you think I'm gonna make a deal with you, you can think again. The keys belong to me. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Mac Corey and Andrew Hutchins destroyed my father. And I vowed on his deathbed that I would fulfill his dream and nothing, nothing will stop me. Oh, good on you, mate. Such devotion is rare. I feel the very same about my father. Why oh, I find that very hard to believe. Then don't. What you think is of absolutely no consequence to me. But you mustn't miss the bigger picture, Len. If destiny has made the two of us partners, why not let destiny see us through? I don't care about destiny. All I care about is the key. Don't care was made to care. Don't care was hung. Don't care was put in a pot and made hold his tongue. Would you care for a brandy? No. I think I will. Well, now that we have the preliminaries out of the way, why don't you tell me your side of the story? My father's side of the story. As I said, your side. Now, there was talk of a betrayal. Yes, yes, there was. But I don't fully understand the, the, the scope of it. I mean, what are the facts? What exactly do you believe happened back then? At the time, I was a young boy, and... A young boy? How young? Could that be a factor? I remember everything, clearly as if it were yesterday. Huh. Do you, um... Do you remember my father? Yes. What was he like? I thought you were a devoted son. Well, my father traveled. I would like to have seen a bit more of it. But uh, tell me, tell me about the relationship between them. My father was doing research. He needed money to develop a formula. So my father and Matt Corey became his partners? Yes. Because we lived in the jungles most of the time, my father needed a safe place to lock away his papers. So the partners decided to cut three keys all of which were necessary to access the formula. That way, no one individual, no one alone, could take that formula out of the jungle. That's correct. 
and they turned on my father. But are you sure how? I don't know how. When my father died, I vowed to find them and to find the truth. An admirable quest. One that deserves my attention. So you admit your father was involved? Whether you like this or not, we're on the same side. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, indeed we are. It comes as no surprise to me that Matt Corey betrayed your father. Because he betrayed mine. How? Oh. He broke him. Should you decide to trust me, Mr. Rain, you shall have your revenge. You may want this now. I want to tell you a story. I don't have time for stories. But this one, you do. I told you that my father traveled. Well, one summer, long ago, I was able to visit him at San Cristobal. Then you knew my father? No. No, I did not have that privilege, but I did see Mac Corey a few times. He and my father were involved there in a business venture. The research. That is yet to be determined. That summer marked the end of my father. He died? Well, he may as well have. Whatever business venture he and Corey were involved in, it turned sour. And my father was left holding the bag. I believe that's the euphemism. I'm sorry. It's not easy to sit and watch your father disintegrate. Mr. Rain. It wasn't easy for him either. To know that he was being watched my son. I remember when I was a lad. He used to hike me up onto his shoulders. He carried me out into the sea. I thought he was a lion. He was the bravest, strongest man in the world. And that was my perception of him. Right up until Mac Corey smothered his soul. You know, it's, it's, it's funny what a father will do for his son. See, he felt disgraced. It's ironic, because I've come to know that feeling a bit myself. I mean, I, I have a son that thinks... That's, uh, it's hardly anything to do with the matter, is it? You, you wish to hear about son Cristobal. Oh! Oh, you there? One minute! You to drop by. Not a social call. No? No, that's a pity. I didn't think I would need an invitation. Of course not. Though I do find it a little odd that you're not on your way to Switzerland. I mean, if you don't rescue Victoria, who will? I thought we were talking about Victoria. We have reason to believe that he's here. But I can't imagine why. Mr. Rain did a pretty thorough job of searching the last time I was here. You know, I meant to talk to you about that. Do you think I should prefer charges, or do you have enough on the man already? What, for bad table manners? What? Were you offended that he didn't like your taste in brandy? Oh, yes. Yes, well, I'm afraid your old man's getting a little dotty as he matures. You know, I'm forever pouring myself a drink, and then I forget, and then I pour another one. It's so like you. Yes, well... Not to worry, I'll, uh, I'll drink it all. Well, you found me out at last. I was hoping you'd stop by for a chat. That would suit me well. Really? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can't wait to find out why you would protect a man who, less than six months ago, tried to kill you. Whatever Rain's got on you, it's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> 